Small angle scattering was also used to investigate self-assembled structures. For this particular research, we applied a lot of different techniques and small angle scattering to structures that materials take when immersed in a particular solvent. This research was led by Dr. Martin Hollenby, who is currently employed at uh, Keele University in the UK. He synthesized molecules based on C60 buckyball to which he attached ligands. When these molecules are then uh, put into solvents such as decane or hexane, they actually uh, self-assemble into interesting structures. For example, they can form core shell micelles. We can use small angle x-ray and neutron scattering to investigate these. Small angle x-ray scattering was used to investigate the core structure of this core shell micelle and small angle neutron scattering, due to its different contrast, could be used to investigate the shell structure of this core shell micelle. The fits that you are seeing here have been done by Martin himself using uh, classical methods. Since these fits work so, so very well, it was not necessary to apply a more elaborate technique to fit this data. Back to the micelles. Interestingly, when the ligands are changed, uh, the material itself behaves different in solution. Under the right conditions, low temperature for example, these materials can pack into hexagonal arrays which themselves pack into fiber-like structures. The hexagonal uh, structure of this packing can be investigated using small angle x-ray scattering where we see at low temperatures the peaks associated with hexagonal packing. At higher temperatures, we see that these peaks are no longer present, which may indicate that the mater material has reverted to a normal core shell micelle. This research has recently been published in Nature Chemistry, and I'm very, uh, I'm very interested in seeing where Martin will take this research next.